Now to your first alert forecast. It's shaping up to be yet the hottest day of the week in Tassar. Oh, look at that heat index, Jamal, near 110 degrees. I don't know. I've heard about this South Carolina heat, but Tony, this is this is real different. <laughs> it, it, it's just really been an impressive year so far. You know, if you look over in a historic sense, the past couple of years, we haven't seen too much of these stretches last year. We didn't even see a degree over 95 mm -hmm. in June. This year has been just uh, more sweltering for us, so you got to get used to it. It's here in July. We are keeping our friends ready out there as we go into, yes, as you said, into our feel like temp today, 110, middle of this afternoon. Take it serious. Be smart. Be safe out there. If, of course, your job takes you outside, you need to spend a little bit of time in that sun. Just all the proper precautions, you know, making sure you are staying cool and hydrated and you get those shade breaks. So you need to take those warning signs your body is giving you seriously. As we go forward into this morning, hustle and bustle of traffic on the uptick there. I-26 looking good off a of Bush River Road. Got temperatures right now, just a bit above 75. But uh, what we see even here between our capital city and all around the rest of the Midlands, you guys are seeing a feel like temp this morning around 80 into the low 80s because you got to factor in that humidity percentage. It's been in between 90 and 92 percent. So uh, that is all going to be out there. Hoping, of course, we could still stay away from, from some fog production. I haven't really seen Seen that this morning for the region, so that's going to be a bit better for our travels as we look on as well. But getting into the middle of this day, a South Carolina sweltering day, and uh, it should be the hottest one out of the week straight up from what we see with the temperature because I'm going with a high of 98 today, and obviously that's a little higher than yesterday. The only main change from yesterday, just a little bit of that humidity trying to be on the decline, but you're barely going to be noticing it with all the intense sun out there and those rising temperatures. Here's something that we got to focus on with the change into the week though because even though today we lack storm chances we are actually going to see this trying to pivot in a positive regard later this week so watch this if you're seeing this on your screens right now two very different days as opposed to the last day of this week because now we see dryness taking over going forward into this Wednesday everything with rain chances is more pushed into the PD down to the coastal regions of South Carolina so we will just be baking in this hot sun all day long with some limited cloud cover to try and save us, but that's all Mother Nature has for us today. It is that dome of heat. It's impressive. It's a first alert weather day. Take it serious. I'm going to keep saying that. Going into Thursday, we will get a change because some drier air sneaking in now. Winds are going to be out of the north and east. So even though we'll still get hot on Thursday because we're still getting all that direct sunlight, we are going to see a high 95, 96 or so. It's going to feel like closer to 100 not 110. We get a bit of a step back in that humidity and that will, even though it's not the biggest change ever, it's still going to be feeling better. Trust me for Thursday. If you can get a shade break tomorrow afternoon, you're going to be feeling and saying, oh wow, this feels so much better than yesterday because it will. I'm telling you. Going late into Thursday, a couple of stray shower chances can't be ruled out. As we go into Friday, this is where we're going to be getting some more rain activity. Even could see a few early showers pop in later in the afternoon, though things coming at us, things deteriorate as we start to get more of that daytime heating. And this is the best possible day, and it's looked to be the best possible day this week where rain activity starts to actually roll its way back into South Carolina. We're going to have more uh, moisture pushing its way off the Atlantic, so watch out for that. That is going to be the day to have the umbrella packed just in case as you can easily be encountering a few storms later into that day. As we go forward into Wednesday, National Pina Colada Day. For some reason with uh, this graphic, you can't get the tilde over the end, but I know it's supposed to be there. As we uh, go into this afternoon, we are going to be seeing these temperatures impressive. This is again a national holiday. 21 and up crowd only. Not a bad way to stay cool, but uh, yeah, make sure you drink responsibly. Of course, drink plenty of water. That's what you need to be doing on days like today as we go forward into this. Going into Thursday and Friday, we are going to see those changes of a little lesser humidity tomorrow. And then finally, some late week relief, a bit more clouds, showers, and some storm production.